This is the Dovit color weather station with wireless sensor. Let's take it out of the box. In the box you get the instruction manual, the AC adapter, yes this does plug in. You can also run it on batteries, we'll talk about that later. You get the weather station itself, there's still the protective thing on that, and the wireless sensor which conveniently has its own display on it. So really you get two in one here. The weather station itself is right here. There's some buttons on the top for setting different things on it. On the back, you can install batteries in there. Power jack right over there. You can wall mount it right there. Or it has a flip out stand like that. So it'll stand up just like that and sit on a desk or a table. For battery power, you do need to put two AAA batteries in here. Note there's a switch in there. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. And if you wanted to battery power this, this takes three AAA batteries. So let me peel the protective stickers off and get everything set up. So first the wireless sensor, I put batteries in there. And if you take a look, it says 70 degrees and 20% humidity. So you can keep this outside somewhere at eye level where you can read it. And you can see the temperature outside right there just as you walk past. Simple as that. So you get this powered up and then you power up the weather station itself and it'll pick up the signal. All right, we're gonna power up the weather station now. I've taken the outdoor sensor and placed that outside. So the display comes up, time needs to be set. It shows the indoor temperature and humidity right here. And for the outdoor, there it is, it came right up. That can take up to three minutes for that to happen. Uh, so that way, um, you know, don't be perturbed if it doesn't show up. This also has a comfort level indicator right up here. Humid, good, or dry right there. And it is quite dry right now. In the center, it shows your forecast and moon phase and pressure and all that. This also has atomic clock setting. So that means that if you just leave this and you are in an area where it can pick up the signal from the atomic clock, it will automatically set that for you and resynchronize a few times a day as well to ensure that you have the proper time. That can take up to seven minutes for that to come in. The display has two brightness levels. There's the high, the low brightness, or you can turn it off. It is still readable at just the right angle, but it is very hard to see without that. Now, as far as batteries go, everybody always wants to just see this thing on and it's just there and I don't want to have a uh, unsightly cord anywhere, so I just want it on all the time. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna go through batteries every week. So this has a nice feature with that. So on battery, the display stays blank, but if you make a loud sound such as clapping your hands, I'm just going to hit the surface here. It comes right up and that will stay on for eight seconds and then go out. So if you did want to see it, just clap and there it is. No problem on batteries. I have this unplugged. It's still just sitting here, but I do have batteries in it now. So that's the mode it'll go in while on battery. So I'll just go over the display over here. We have the comfort sensor like I showed before. Your outdoor temperature and humidity, you can of course set this to Celsius if you'd like, that's not a problem. Over here, maybe a little hard to see, but there's a little number one there. And I had mentioned earlier about the sensor and there was a little switch in there. And that's because you can get up to two additional sensors and you set what channel you want it to be on in the back there with that little switch. So you can have multiple sensors. You can have one in the in a shed, one in the back patio, and another one, you know, maybe in the car. I don't know. Anywhere you want to put it. And that way you can have those temperatures and you can cycle through them yourself or you can also set it to a mode where it will automatically cycle through and it'll show you the channel number. So you'll just have to remember where you place them like that. Over here, you see an arrow, and the arrow is showing the current trend. Basically, that means everything is staying stationary. If it were pointing up, the trend would be going up, and down, 
of course, would be going down. Same on the right side, the indoor temperature that shows right there, and that also has a trend indicator as well. At the bottom, you have your current barometric pressure and the moon phase over there. At the very top center is the clock, of course, and the date to the right of that. And just below the clock, you see the current weather conditions. So basically, what we're seeing here is a good guess. The accuracy of this is going to improve over several days. So don't expect it to be right exactly the first time. And as a matter of fact, right now, there's no sun out at all. But it doesn't know that. Like I said, it needs to basically have a few days worth of runtime for it to give you the best uh, conditions that you see there. Your barometric pressure also has an arrow that shows the trend there as well. And the orange indications here are your temp alerts. You can set this unit to alert you if a temperature goes below a certain point or above a certain point. So you can set that if you want. And also it does have two alarms if you want to use it as an alarm clock. You can set those up as well. The screen on this is seven and a half inches diagonally and the wireless sensor transmits up to 250 feet. So chances are very good in an average house this will be able to pick up the signal from it so you can see your outdoor temperature there. You may also notice at this point in time that the indoor temperature has gone up a bit showing 72 degrees now and the arrow is now pointing upwards instead of straight across so that means that it has seen the increase in temperature and in time it actually just went up again but in time if that levels out the arrow will go straight again or point down if the temperature goes down so whether you're going to run this on ac power in the house like this always plugged in so the screen is always lit or on battery power with the sound sense function the dovit weather station works fantastic it gives you all the information you'd ever want to know right there you don't have to ask for it or do anything it's just displayed excellent all around and it works great if you'd like to purchase this item i'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on amazon thanks for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye